Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on the exploded pie chart. An exploded pie chart is a kind of pie chart, in which one or several slices are separated from the others. In this video, we will see how to add an exploded pie chart to a report, and how to change its properties. First, create a new report. Create a new report, and name it Exploded Pie Chart Report. To learn how to create your first report, check the video link provided in this video's description. Second, create a dataset to assign the data in the chart. Create a new data source, name it Usage Details using the JSON Data Connector. And click the Connect button to create a new dataset. Name it Usage Dataset. And click the Finish button. A dataset will be created. I have provided the video link for creating data sources and datasets using the JSON Data Connector, and the link for the JSON query in the video's description. Now, let's add the exploded pie to the report. Drag and drop the exploded pie chart from the item panel to the designer surface. You can also add the exploded pie chart by right clicking the design area and then clicking insert from the context menu. The list of report items that can be added will be displayed. You can add the exploded pie chart by selecting chart and then exploded pie in the list displayed. You will see the properties for the exploded pie chart displayed. Since we can assign any value from the database to the exploded pie chart, the data tab is enabled. The name field contains the name of the exploded pie chart. The properties for the exploded pie chart are divided into 10 categories, based on usage. You can also change the size of the exploded pie chart by extending the corners or dragging the points at the center. You can resize the exploded pie chart according to the requirement. Now, let's assign data to the exploded pie chart. To assign data, click Data in the Properties panel. In the Data panel, you will see the fields in the data set displayed. If you have multiple data sets, you can change the data set using the dropdown. The numeric columns and expressions are listed in the measures section. And the remaining types of expressions and dimensions are listed in the dimensions section. Drag and drop the usage field from the measures section to the Y value section. By default, the sum aggregate function will be applied to the expression. You can change the aggregate function by clicking the settings icon. The context menu will be displayed. Click the aggregate option. And the list of aggregate methods will be displayed. You can also change the aggregate function using an expression. Select the expression option. To display the expression dialog. Click the preview button. You can see the exploded pie chart with the sum of the usage values. Click the design button. I drag and drop the browser name field from the dimensions section to the column section. While assigning each field, the chart will be refreshed in the design area. In preview, the usage of each browser is measured against the total usage. Now, let's format the pie chart. Click Properties. And the Property panel will be displayed. In the Basic Settings section, click the icon next to Choose Series. In the Basic Settings, click Enable Smart Label. In the Data Label settings, enable Show Data Label. The labels are displayed in the exploded pie chart. Click the Back button. Under the Appearance category, 
Change the border style to double. Color to black. And the thickness of the border to 1.833. In the chart area category, change the chart palette property to Pacific. Under the title category, enter mobile browser usage statistics. And the title changes accordingly. Under the node data category, enter node data to display. Under the page break category, enable the page number reset property. In the miscellaneous category, set the tooltip value as mobile browser usage statistics chart. Click the preview button. You will see the exploded pie chart. When you hover over the exploded pie chart, you will see the text given in the tooltip property displayed. In this video, we saw how to add an exploded pie chart to the report designer control, and how it renders in the report viewer control while previewing it. We will be publishing another video soon, that explains the properties of the chart report item further. Stay tuned to this channel for our upcoming videos on bold reports. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.